Oh, I'm so blessed that you came into my world. Yes, I am. Oh, mm -hmm. give me a kiss. Be nice to me, huh? Oh. Yes. Well, hey, it's my new friend. So he just showed up in my life on Thursday and wanted to come into my house by Friday. He was hanging out around my house. He's a raven. Kind of wanted to hang out with him for a little while. He's, uh, somebody pulled him out of a nest. And, uh, he's very young. Come on, baby. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Woo! So, I don't know if you know about the, um, all the myth and folklore and Shakespearean stories where a raven shows up in somebody's life at a turning point. Um, I have the awareness of all of this. Um, called my psychic on Saturday. She said he's come to bring a message for you. Ravens, help people become aware of their darkness. And trust me, I have quite a few little dark things that I've been ignoring. Seven billion people on this planet. And you tell me that I don't feel blessed to have mythological omen, if you will, event happening, an occurrence in time where a raven shows up on my roof in the UK. It's, uh, well, there's a legend in the UK that if a raven shows up on your roof, it's a sign of success is soon to follow. Um, the big thing is, is I took him to my psychic yesterday for her to look at his energy, to look at my energy. He's bonded with me big time. He's a little spoiled. Um, I'm kind of mother. Um, he's super, super friendly with me. And um, there's some amazing footage I might attach later of me doing a private video with um, this little, what baby? Yeah. Oh. You gonna eat my finger? Oh God. <laughs> what uh what are you doing, huh? Anyways, I'm mother. So um that's quite an honor. Um and as far as the becoming aware of the darkness, my psychic told me to hold on to him for three more days, which was yesterday, today, and tomorrow. He's going to go to the zoo. So, what do you want, baby? Huh? So, he likes to be hand-fed. He hasn't, I don't know what happened to him or anything, but he's an incredible blessing. Um, he's very social. And so he's going to go to the Moon Ridge Zoo in Big Bear. And uh, he's going to spread all his loving to uh, everybody. They're not even going to know what's going to happen. Uh, he's so, I've been told by a few people who are, we have a sort of a restoration volunteer thing going on up here, but they don't have a raven, and especially a guy that's this social. Now, I have been around a lot of birds. Uh, one very, very, very intelligent one, um, medium sulfur crested cockatoo, which is the, the Beretta bird. Um, pretty amazingly intelligent. This guy is a hundred times more sophisticated. They have, um, they have the biggest, most impressive 
most reasoning brain of any birds in the whole known bird kingdom as we observe it. And again, I am very honored that he's bonded with me and he's done his job on me in terms of making me aware of my darkness. It is a cathartic change that I feel very blessed to have. And I can't hardly think that you'll be seeing the same Keith anymore after this. Well, there he goes to the floor. I guess that's the end of this video. Later. So I saw this guy outside, and I knew he was friendly. What? What? What'd you say? So I knew they liked fruit a lot. Um, I never actually... So I saw this guy outside, and I knew he was friendly. What? What? What'd you say? So, I knew they liked fruit a lot. Um, I never actually had uh, this type of bird before. I've only kept like cockatoos and st stuff like that. Anyways, um, so I went in the house to get an orange for him, cut it in half, I knew he'd love it, and uh, he was gone. And so then the next day, I have a few housemates here with me right now. We were kind of talking in the living room. And I saw him out in the garage. And I go, oh, Jason, Jason, I saw this guy yesterday. And so um, he went out there and kind of kept his attention. And we were sort of feeding him some sprouted mung beans and stuff like that. And um, anyways, um, come on, get up. Oh, you want to kiss me, don't you? I put my hand out and he just jumped right on my hand. And then I was like, okay. So I took him in the house and as soon as he got in the house, he was like super happy. And I was like, okay, well obviously you don't belong in the wild. Um, and so uh, I've had this, what kind of omens are there of taking a blackbird in your house on Friday the 13th? Anyway, so um, I have this new buddy here. It's very interesting. No way I can let him out. He's way too friendly to... He's not... <laughs> so, let's talk about... Come here. I haven't given him a name yet. I'm not even sure how old he is, actually. It's kind of hard to tell. Come here. Come on. So... Say hi. Oh, hard to see you in the light. There we go. Oh, say hello. Anyways, this is my new buddy. Basically do these sort of limited releases. So that particular one there, if I ever wind up making it big time, it's out for me because I'm trying to get music done so that I can get it replicated by mid-August and basically have it to college radio by mid-September. So I'm super busy. I only take, you can see my activity. I'm on YouTube, I basically take breaks, but in terms of me getting into really elaborate um, uh, um, videos and stuff, I've seen some of your stuff. I feel the same way about your stuff as what you So, um, thank you once again. Say goodbye. I'm going to say goodbye. What? Can you say goodbye? No? There we go. Alright. Bye, Paul.